The purpose of this video is to discuss one of the major components of this course, which is a strategy document for a specific uh, multicultural segment that each student is required to produce by the end of the course. Now, this course does not have a final exam. However, this final project um, is a significant portion of your grade, your overall grade for this course. So this particular final project is worth 30% of your overall grade in the course. Pretty important, right? So this video will just talk about the different phases and stages in which um, we will be communicating about your project and what are the major requirements. So um, just to clarify, if you go to page three of your course syllabus, you will see a description of your final project, which is a strategy document on how to market a specific product to a specific target. So you will look at either Hispanics, African Americans, Asian Americans, or any other segment once you have gotten my approval. So if you are thinking of looking at another segment, then you should be thinking of reaching out to me. Um, about your topic ideas. Now, the first piece of work that is due surrounding this assignment is the topic submission, and this will happen in week seven. And for that assignment, you are required to um, identify the brand, product, or service that you are choosing. Um, so it's now time to start looking around are you looking at a local company or a national company that you think um, has not necessarily been doing a good job or you think that their strategy for reaching a particular multicultural segment um, is lacking and you want to propose some improvements. So you look for a company, a product, service, or brand that will be the focus of your assignment. And then you will also say what specific group your um, your your project will be focused around. So um, don't try to do multiple groups, but what you should do is try to focus in on one particular group that you will then um, do significant amount of research on and put forward a strategy. So just to clarify, um, you also are required for that assignment to produce at least five reputable secondary sources and proper citations using either AP or MLA format. I want to stress reputable, and by reputable we mean um, industry sources, um, not some random website. Um, throughout this course you will realize that we have been citing whether it's the, the, the books that we've been reading, um, if you go to the course library, you will see that we have um, basically been citing a number of websites and, and sources that are extremely respected in the field of multicultural marketing. We expect that you will be trying to use those sources, those reports, and we don't necessarily, I don't ask for um, just web links. I want um, substantive citations, which means you have gone on the website, you have found reports that you have downloaded and you plan to cite those specific reports. So I want specific sites, not just web links um, to organizations. If you are not yet familiar with um, how to properly cite a source, then I think this is the most important time that you guys get online. Um, go to the Purdue OWL website um, and Familiarize yourself, pick a citation format that you think you can follow, that you think you can remember throughout the course, and use that um, format from this point forward in the course. Okay, so that's the first assignment. That's in week um, seven. So that's coming up really soon. Um, the next thing that you will be asked to do is in week 12 to provide a draft of the first two sections of your paper. So this is my opportunity to one, first and foremost, vet your topic, which would have been done after looking at your week seven submission. Um, and then two, look at the research that you've been doing and how you've been writing up the work that you've been doing and provide you with feedback to help you to improve what you've pr provided so far and to also put you in a good position to finish the, re the, the remaining sections of this document. 
So this is going to be in week 12, like I said. And in that section, you will focus on the first two bullet points um, of the final project. One, which is the definition of the problem, including the product and the competitive environment, as well as pre preparing a statement of marketing objectives. Um, and so what will happen is that you will ask questions like, why does this product or brand need a marketing plan? Why do, does this particular segment that you have focused on represent a significant opportunity for this company or for this product? You will talk about who the competitors are, what are they doing to reach that particular population that you um, have selected? Um, and also, what are you trying to accomplish? So you have to think about your goals. So is it to improve um, awareness of the brand among members of this community? Is it to increase usage? Is it to strengthen the image of the brand um, to make a connection? So you have to think really carefully about what your objective is by implementing this marketing program. And then you will, of course, say how you know that these goals are appropriate. The second thing that you want to do is say, who is your target segment? So when you, even if you select a specific group, say Hispanics, for example, um, I'm sure that you're not trying to reach every single Hispanic. You probably are looking at a specific age group, um, a, a specific um, acculturation level, psychographic um, segment. So you want to then be more specific. So among this broad group, I am targeting this specific type of person who falls into this age group. Um, you may or may not have information about the level of education these people have attained, stuff like that. And so that will then help us to um, get to a point where we you're getting feedback from me to say, okay, this is appropriate, this is good, you have expressed this correctly, you have sufficiently justified what the problem is, what you are trying to do and who you are trying to target and so when you move on to the remaining sections you should be in a good place to finish your project because that is going to be due in week 17. So in week 16 we don't have any assignments due there are no readings um, and that's that work week where I expect that you guys should be putting your finishing touches on your documents and the final date for submission um, so sorry, the work week is in work 15. The final day that you have to submit your completed projects is May 11th. So in its entirety, with full, properly cited sources throughout your document, as well as in your references, a completed plan that incorporates any feedback that I may have given you um, over the weeks, that is what is expected. And this is the final document that will be the 30% of your overall grade. Um, the final thing that I want to do is just go through the various sections of the, um, the, the the final paper. So I just talked about sections one and two, which is defining the problem and also identifying the target segment. Then the next question that is asked is that you identify your media resources and strategy. And the question asks, what media will you use to re reach your specific target based on their usage? So you will then say, okay, I am um, recommending that the company organizes a, um, a new media campaign that is going to be on television, it's going to be on social media, it's going to be on radio, um, incorporating a website that is um, culture-specific or language-specific. Um, so you have to then speak to the specific things that you think the company needs to change or improve. And so by media, what we are talking about is those communication vehicle, the promotion vehicle, thinking in terms of promotion. What are the specific vehicles that you think the organization should be using? If you have suggestion in terms of television channels, um, specific TV shows, that you think ads should appear during commercial breaks of those shows, then you need to say that and you need to say why um, you think that those are the shows that, or those are the channels. So it's going to be based on who is watching, right? And 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 highest times, highest, highest uh, viewership numbers. So you're looking at ratings. And if there are channels that are meant for specific audiences, then you probably want to include that. But of course, remember that we have talked about not just focusing on a channel that may be specifically for a, specific, a particular group, 
but it should be integrated so there should be some amount of representation in mainstream um, how you want to address that is going to be up to you um, you will also have to talk about the positioning and messaging strategy when we talk about positioning positioning is really the space that you want the brand to occupy in the consumer's mind so normally when you think of certain brands you think of um, something pops into your mind that the brand represents. So when we say Walmart, we think great value. Great value, which is normally um, lower priced, more affordable, because that is how Walmart is positioned. That's the, All their messaging communicates that about the product or brand. But if I were to say to you, Mercedes-Benz, what do you think? You think luxury, you think um, more higher end, that is the positioning. So you want to talk about what position you want that product or brand that you're focusing on to occupy in the target consumer's mind. Um, so you have to think about what are the most relevant insights, which means what are the things that you know about the specific target segment that you feel are most important to connecting with that group, right? Um, so based on what you know about the product or brand and what you know about the group that you're trying to target, then you have to say, um, you know, the brand represents so and so. I think the best way to communicate that to the particular group that I'm targeting is this way. Um, and so you will also have to take into consideration consideration if that company or brand already has a strategy, a general market strategy, are you proposing that the strategy is tweaked a little bit um, for a specific multicultural audience or are you um, saying that the strategy that they currently have is fine um, but you think that you just need a different execution of the messaging so again you have to talk about the positioning and so you probably want to think about how the brand is positioned mainstream how can you communicate that same positioning to a different audience a multicultural audience that the current way that the positioning is being communicated is not resonating with that particular audience so the next question that that is there the next question that you have to look at is point of view as to whether the insights that you have um, leverage for positioning this message strategy apply to other multicultural groups so um, depending on what insights you're trying to use to position that product or brand or the way you plan to communicate that positioning um, it is possible that 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 particular piece of insight could be used to communicate with another multicultural segment um, if it is possible that that can be leveraged that way then you will discuss that what group do you think also has certain um, cultural um, similarities to the group that you um, are focusing on and how you think that same positioning messaging strategy that same insight that same thing that you have discovered about that particular group that you're using to make that connection between them and the brand that you are focusing on if it is that it can be applied to another ethnic group or cultural group then you will talk about that and if it is not applicable to any other group is only specific to that particular group then you will say that and you will also say why um, you will also be asked to talk about evaluating the effectiveness of your campaign um, or of your proposal so clearly um, when we are as marketers um, launch our campaigns we have to keep on monitoring the campaigns to see that they are whether or not they're effective so that means we have to put metrics or measurements in place that we can then use as checks and balance to say okay um, or, or objective was to do so and so we are going to check that we have achieved our objectives by X so for example thinking about social media you might say that you want to um, establish a presence for the brand um, in that particular community through social media so you may be thinking that you want to do a Facebook page that is specific to that group that you are targeting now how do you um, evaluate the effectiveness of having implemented a Facebook page you would probably look at the amount of click-throughs that you're getting the amount of likes the amount of people who are viewing your videos and stuff like that so those are the metrics because you will then establish okay we are aiming for say you're aiming for 
a thousand likes in the first two weeks so you will put those markers in place to say in the first two weeks um, we expect so and so in the second two weeks we expect so and so it's not doesn't have to be weekly though um, whatever metrics that you're putting in, in place for your vehicles and not every vehicle can be measured but clearly when you look at online and some of these other things that you can directly track how much people are viewing them how much people are listening and stuff like that um, or watching in terms of ratings and viewership numbers and stuff like that then you can say okay the goal is X um, and so we are hoping to reach that in the first quarter or the first month or the first six months and so it should be time bound you should say okay these are the numbers that I'm expecting these are the, 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 the metrics that I'm expecting in this phase which is which is this date that we will check or this number of months out we will check on stuff like that so uh, in terms of measuring you have to also discuss the measurements that you're going to put in place or that you are suggesting for evaluating the effectiveness um, this document will follow this the same formatting requirements that we have been using previously for assignments but you can see pages three through four for um, more detailed description I'm hoping that this video has helped to clarify questions that anybody may have about the final project. Um, bear in mind that there are two check-ins before the actual finished document is due. You have to adhere to the check-ins if you want to benefit from my help, which means do a really good job of doing the pieces that are asked. If, for example, you have by by the time you are supposed to be submitting the second um, piece of work if you have done more than is required then send me what you have um, inc include whatever else you have and so I can give you feedback on that um, this has to be an iterative process this has to be a process in which you benefit from my feedback and my assistance because I know multicultural marketing is not second nature it's new to many people and this is the best way that I can think of to have you guys do the best possible jobs I mean if you do really good jobs with your final projects and you will have these as pieces in your portfolio when you go out to look for a job um, to say I did do a multicultural plan for a particular business so people who are local located locally you can start thinking about um, local businesses if that is something that you think you can do because again um, you want these documents not just to be an assignment that you submit to me for a grade but it should be something that contributes to um, how um, marketable you are as a professional when you are finished and so if you do a really good job on these documents then you could have these as pieces in your portfolio that you can then put on your website or on your electronic Vita that somebody who is looking to hire you can say okay this person does know something about planning for specific audiences especially the multicultural component which is becoming so important to businesses today anyways thank you guys so much and feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or schedule a meeting to come to my office out schedule a time to come to my office hours to discuss any concerns that you may have I do recommend however you do do it sooner rather than later trying to talk to me on the day that your assignment is due or the day before is going to be very challenging especially for you and for me in terms of scheduling so if you get on these things early then um, you should be in good stead for doing a really good job on this project all right take care guys